This version 13 feature is about giving a shape to a cost or a resource allocation. So if I take a cost from my library and I allocate that to an activity on the plan, that £1,000 is allocated evenly across the activity as shown on the graph below. But now we have the ability to show a allocate a curve to that and I'll show you how we create that in a moment but we've got a number of curves that we've created previously. So if I take the one called bell shaped then and I hit the enter key that equation is applied to that £1,000 and is spread across the activity. If we change the length of the activity we're still taking that whole equation across the, the length of the activity and applying it uh, as uh, proportionally across it. So if we look briefly at how we create one of those, so in the Library Explorer we have a new folder called Resource Curve. So if we double click on that and go into it, these are the ones that are already supplied, but if I click to make a new one and I call this, say, Slow Build, then if I double click on this we get the Equation Builder. So essentially I can say how many points there are in my graph, but they will have to add up to 100 at the end of the day. So if I say, um, I'm just going to say 1, 2, 3, etc., all the way to 9, and there is no quicker way than actually having to type it in yourself. So there we've got a slow build of, of expenditure or effort from, from a low base to a high base. And I need to, and that only adds up to 55, so I need to recalculate that. And then that's going to spread it across proportionally across 100. So I've created a, uh, a graph, and I'm going back to my bar chart, and I'm going to change, the, uh, change it to no profile so you can see what it looks like before we start. And then we're going to change it to the slow build that I've just uh, created, and you can see that expenditure building across the duration of the activity. So it's very useful and of course it can apply, different ones can apply to different cost centres. So if I uh, allocate a, mat a material cost of £500 to this particular activity, the material cost can have a different, uh, can be backloaded for example, and then the combination of those two uh, complex curves gives a resulting uh, and we can also do the same thing to resources. So we can do it to uh, cost, but we can also do it to resources. So if I take a resource from my library uh, and I allocate that to uh, an activity on the plan, then we, our second graph below shows me how we're using that resource uh, over time. And if I double click on the resource or go to the properties of that resource, uh, then we've got a non-linear allocation tab and whilst we can choose a curve in exactly the same way that I did for the costs, only for resources we can have a what's known as a profile. And that's where you can type in manually and say, well, on the first day we're going to do four hours. On the second day we're going to do six hours. On the third day we're going to do eight hours. Then we're going to go back to six uh, and back to four. So on an individual activity, custom made if you like, we can have that resource allocation. You can see the shape of that in the graph and obviously that is carried around with the resource as that happens over time. So you can have a non-linear allocation of resources and costs in version 13 of Power Projects.